Oh, good morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning right now. And I haven't been putting much up on YouTube because I've just been busy. So I figured I'd give you a quick little rundown on what's been going on around the old homestead. I've got some footage all in the, the computer, but I haven't had time to edit it. One of them is that thing going in. New mobile home. But I've changed the skirting on the front of the house. Now to do that, all of this siding used to come down to about here. So I had to peel all the siding off. One of my genius decorating ideas. I had to pull all the siding off and when I pulled the siding off I had found it had been leaking right in here. So I had to pull the styrofoam off and replace a whole big section of the wallboard in here, re-insulate it, put another layer of uh, foam insulation on it. Now I've got two by six walls so I got well insulated. And then reframe the windows. And then after that I did the skirting. So we got that done. That was a big job. We'll just go over to the neighbors here for a minute. Yeah, just no time for editing, so I'm hoping to do this all in one shot. Let me just give you a quick rundown of what's been what I've been doing. I've just been too damn busy. No time for even editing. So the neighbors needed a a set of back steps. So I built them a nice set of back steps there. Nice and sturdy. The stringers made out of 2x12s, three of them. So we got that done up. And I head around back over to the homestead. There's the shop. So, yeah, these guys just moved in uh, at the beginning of the summer and they've been slowly working things out and getting it straightened out. Improving, I guess they're going to do landscaping. And that's going to be some firewood eventually. So, yeah, lots of things going on. Oh, one of my cedar trees got stolen. I uh, took down a maple tree and added to the wood pile a little bit. Oh, the ducks scared the ducks. Oh, and right over there, let's see if I can zoom you in here. And that's the cedar tree that's missing. Oh, well, I guess the beavers wanted a hedge too. Come around the side of the shop. Oh. More ducks. I'll go into the shop here. And it's a mess. And not very bright. I've only got one light up right now. But I've been insulating the roof. I got uh, the last two pieces there for those two bays. So that's what I've been working on. Uh, oh, everything's strewn all over the place. I need, I need, where is it? Put things away so well I can't find them again. Ah, there it is. Gotta fix the toilet today. That's one of the jobs. So hopefully, I'm not taking any video of me putting the insulation or anything up, but hopefully next video that's made in here I'll have the ceiling all done. I don't know if I'll be painted or not, but we'll see what happens. The weather's supposed to be changing more towards more fallish weather. It's been just gorgeous, the weather. And that'll leave me this wall yet to insulate from the clamp rack 
to there. And that's going to open up a whole can of worms. Because when I pull everything off this wall, well, i got to start by pulling everything off this wall. Uh, insulate it, vapor barrier, put some sheathing up. And then my plan is to make this table, redo this table that the table saw sits under. And I want to make it another 8 inches or so. Sorry about the lighting, but this is what we got. So that sits up there better. And what I also want to do, I'm thinking, is taking the table saw. Oh, something fell. And I'm thinking about, there's a section of wing right here, from here to here. Thinking of taking that out and shortening the cart to there. And then bringing that wing over to this side and then shortening this wing so it only goes to there. So I'll lose a little bit of length because it's kind of hard to work around sometimes in the shop. And while I'm doing that, uh, it's a 1986 Craftsman table saw. Well, not the greatest saw in the world, but as you've seen in my videos, it keeps working. But I've got an issue with it lining up. Now it's lined up nice and parallel and everything. Oh, you're never going to see in there. Down in here, I got on this side of the blade, I've got two 70,000 shims to move the blade that way a little bit. And what's happened is lining it up, here's four bolts for lining it up. It's a contractor style saw, but everything's moved that way a bit, and uh, I can't tilt it to 45 even with the standard throat plate in it. So that's going to open up a whole can of worms because I've got to take everything right apart to get that all lined up properly. So it will turn to 45 again, which is part of my reason why of shortening the cart because. While I've got everything torn apart, I'm going to do it all. So we've got table modifications, table saw modifications to come throughout the winter. I don't have a lot of video uh, to edit, but I've got a few little projects that I've done that i got to put on. So. Uh, I might be a little bit sparse this winter for for projects, but uh, we'll get done what we get done. That's going to be a huge job tearing all that apart and modifying it and everything. So until I get a uh, new electric panel in and the electricity into the shop, there's not much sense of looking at buying a new table saw that I want. And I've got the new electrical panel there and I've got boxes and wire and all kinds of stuff there. To do it I just gotta pull the permit and get it done and be able to uh, afford the six gauge wire to come from the house. I've already got the breaker that goes on the panel in the house so I'm gonna run a 60 amp service out here I hope. But uh, yeah, that's what's been going on at the old homestead. Just been too busy to do any uh, editing of video or anything else. But uh, yeah, we had a little bit of rain. The river came up a little bit, looking a little bit cleaner. It's been so dry this year. It was down for, for quite a bit. Well, actually it was, wasn't too bad for wet, but not as, not as dry as it was last year. But we're coming into the fall. We can start seeing the river more. Lots of walnuts. And I've got a bunch of trees that are coming down too, so i got to stock that up for firewood. I'll come over here. I might as well do that while I'm here. Give you a complete update. There is... 
that tree. That's dead. That's an ash from the emerald ash borer. And there's four small ones right here. And they're going. And there's a couple of those big ones behind the house. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. I don't have my glasses on, so. Uh, those two, I think. They're dead from the ash borer. So they've got to come down, and he's getting a professional to come and bring them down, and I get to clean them up and keep them for firewood. So, free heat. Yeah. You're getting the whole tour today. It's like Lord of the Rings. It's a walking movie. Well, if I come around here... Those two trees are coming down. Well, can you hear that? This tree got hit by lightning years and years ago. And this is all just rot. There's nothing left of the inside of that tree. So the landowner's got to take it down before it falls on anything, costing lots of money. Let's see if we can hear it creaking. There we go. So yeah, not exactly a safe tree. I'm always nervous about it coming down when I'm out here. But uh, that's both ash trees there too. And they go way up there. So Normally, if they're in a safe position, I take them down myself. But seeing as they're right up next to the shop and buildings and such, I'm going to leave it to the professionals. So you just got to take them down and put them on the ground, and I can do up the rest of them. So that's it. That's what we've been up to. Pretty soon, time to put the lawnmowers away and. Get the snow blower out. So the lawnmower and the, the snow blower. I can't. Don't think you can see it back there. They'll be uh, switching spots. The snow will be a coming. Got an appointment this week to get the snow tires put on. So yeah, my poor little cedar. They took the beavers. Took it right off and. Took a couple of branches off of that one. And this one they took a taste of. So, we've got ever bearing strawberries still going. So, yeah, busy, busy, busy. No time to, uh, no time to be editing video and hardly any time to be shooting any either. We had a barbecue last night. October 22nd and we barbecued here in Canada. So, that's what's been going on. Sorry about the lack of content, but that's the way it goes. Have a good one and thanks for dropping by.